Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today I'm giving you guys an updated video showing off my Halo collection. I did one of these, I believe, maybe in like 2017 or 2018 or something like that, but a lot of my stuff, kind of my setup has changed since then. I've gotten some new stuff, and I just kind of just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to since, because we haven't really had any news lately, like we have the past year in like terms of Halo collectibles and stuff, I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of the stuff I'd gotten, and this video is going to be more general, just kind of showing off some of the new stuff, and I will hopefully try to make this more of like a yearly thing, or maybe even like every like a few times a year, depending on like how much stuff I get, but it won't be showing off every single specific thing, but if you guys wanted to see a video kind of showing like everything that I have kind of going into detail about where I got it, where you may be able to get it, just things like that, then I would do that in the future. But for this one, it's just going to be more of a general overview, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So, starting with the top shelf, again, not going to go through every single thing, but just kind of go through some of the new stuff. I do have all the Halo Funkos, not all of them, I think I'm missing maybe like one or two. In the back there, I do have ODST, Chief, Arbiter, the E3 exclusive Chief, and then Johnson, if you can kind of see him. In addition to the three, uh, three of the Reach Player at Sky figures, because the rest are kind of hard to get or expensive. I do have to get those in the future though. The three helmets right here. A Halo Wars 2, the uh, Atriox Halo icons, which is pretty cool. I do have the Halo pens right here, because they're Halo and why not. And then I do have the recently released uh, cable, like, controller holder, guys. Let me see if I can move this controller so you can see him. Yeah, there we go. Um, who's holding this controller. So that's cool. Then we have the NECA 30, or not, yeah, I believe it's 16 inch cheap or 18 inch or something like that. It's pretty big though. I, in my opinion, one of the best Halo figures that's ever been made. I absolutely love it. And it just looks very good. I do have all the Jada little <laughs> toys right there, the ones that released, I think, like one or two years ago with like the Halo 5 designs and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Halo, uh, the Mattel Halo Wars 2 Atriox figure in the background. And then two more boxed Icons figures right up here. Put some more stuff right up here. We have the Pixel Pals, uh, Metal Diecast, I believe, cheap. And then just some artwork that one of my friends got me at Comic Con. And then just some more Halo icons, the Avatar figures, and that's the uh, Spartan Lock Jinx figure, and then just some Mega Constructs that dude fell down. And yeah, so for the top shelf, it is absolutely packed. There's a lot of stuff. And I'm pretty happy. I, there's not that much stuff I'm really missing that I would want to put here. Obviously, I'm out of room. But just main statue wise, I just don't want to get the Halo 5 statue because I still do not have that. But that's about it, even though I don't love that statue. And in the background, it is worth noting that that is artwork by Greg Pack, I believe, in the background that I've gotten at local Comic Cons. There's a Halo 4 one and a Halo 3 one, which you can't see really because they're behind everything, but you can kind of see part of it behind there. And they look very cool. Next shelf, we have the two, two of the Code Bakia figures, the blue Mark V and the red Mark VI, in addition to the uh, Halo Rise of Atriox in the background right there. Then a Halo Reach statue, obviously iconic. All the games in the background, not every single one, because I don't have Halo Wars uh, 2 up there, or Halo 5. But I, Halo Wars 2 is actually in the mail, I still want to get an original copy of Halo 5. So I'll have to figure out how I'm going to rearrange this, but those are the games right back there. And then in front of them we have the Mattel figures. The now dead line of very mediocre figures. Again, they look okay, except for where's Linda? Ugh, disgusting. Again, they look uh, decent. Do have the Cryopod Chief, uh, the Halo 3 Brute Chieftain Deluxe figure, which I really like. This dude, which I believe is supposed to be singing in a Warthog. And then the ODST right there, which I believe is also McFarlane. So yeah, for this shelf, not too much, just Mattel pretty much and some other unrelated McFarlane stuff. Let's drop down and get to the first McFarlane shelf, which is just full of McFarlane figures, ranging from Halo 3, 4, 5, and Reach. So, it's not gonna go through every single one, but most of these were in the last video, except this guy, this Marine right here from Reach, I'm pretty sure he's new. And then in the background right here is all Halo Escalation, so that's pretty cool. Let's drop down. Uh, this guy, I might have already said in my last video, but like I said, that was like years ago, is a Power Awards exclusive, actually, Blue Elite Officer, so that's pretty cool that, because they don't really do those type of physical giveaways anymore for like GameStop stuff, so that's pretty cool. And then I did get more issues of Rise of Atriox in the background, which is cool, in addition to Collateral Damage, which I haven't actually read, but I've got it. And just more, more McFarlane. Some sweeping shots. Oh, these Hazop figures right here are also new. 
the red and blue ones. And I believe that Halo 3 red and white uh, Mark V Spartan may be new. So yeah, for figures, that is mainly it. They're all loose. Like I said, I have some boxed ones I'll get to in a sec, but that is about it for that. And like I said, if you guys want a video where I go into detail on like every single one, kind of where I got it, just if you guys are looking for it, different places where you may be able to find stuff, I can do a video on that too. All right, let's drop on down to books and DVDs and whatnot. Ignoring the Assassin's Creed uh, book, which I don't know anywhere else to put, so it goes on the Halo shelf. I have the Halo Encyclopedia, all of the guides for each of the games except Halo Wars 2, in addition to some of the limited edition guides, like I have the Reach one, I have the Halo 4 one, I have the Halo 5 one, I think that's there for the limited edition guides. Then I have just a bunch of random stuff, like I have a, let me pull this out, I believe this is the CE guide, yeah that's the CE guide right there, in addition to the Game Informer that featured Halo 5 a couple years ago. Um, an Xbox magazine that was all about Halo 5. Xbox owns 2015. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, and then a bunch of comics and trades. So I've got the graphic novel, All the Fall of Reaches, Uprising. Rise of Atriox is new, I just bought that. Tales from Slipspace I also just got, which is new. Initiation I also just got, and Collateral Damage. So all four of those. And actually, Tales from Slipspace and Initiation I got at a local comic book store in like a bundle for only $10. So that's very cool. This one right here I felt was actually the art of Halo 5, like the book, but it was just a little like preview book, but it still looks pretty cool. So that's like having that. Then I have the actual Halo books. Um, Silent Storm, I started reading, and Cryptum, I am also in the middle of, but besides that I have not read any of these except uh, Fall of Reach, which we'll get to in a sec. And then we get to the limited editions of the game. So I have the Halo Reach limited edition, that's also very new, I just bought that. Halo 4 as I've had for since release. Halo 3's I also just got very recently, which is very cool. Halo 2's I've had for a little bit. And Halo 5's I also bought off release, obviously. Then I have the Halo 2 multiplayer map back. Just another version of CE. I believe this is the Game of the Year edition? Yeah, Game of the Year edition of Halo 4. Um, another version of CE, I have a bunch of those. And then I have a little controller stand right here, which was holding up that controller you saw earlier, but now that it is uh, being held up by another thing, I don't really need it, so it's just gonna sit down here. Then I have Fall of Reach, Nightfall, and Forward Unto Dawn, all on Blu-ray, so the only one I'm missing on, or on uh, DVD, so the only one I'm missing on DVD is Legends. And then I have Legends, the, it's like this weird steelbook that I found at a local bookstore that I've never seen before, but I really like it, so that's that. The complete video collection that released, I think, like a year or two ago. And then just normal Legends on Blu-ray, and then Nightfall and Forward Unto Dawn on Blu-ray, and then my only soundtrack being the Halo 4 original soundtrack on a CD. Still new and unopened, which is cool. And three more books, being Fall of Reach, First Strike, and The Flood. And we also have right here, a Halo 4 Spartan Soldier Player It's Kai figure, which I actually forget I have a lot of times, because it's all the way down here, kind of isolated, but I have not opened this, but it is a very cool figure. Just leave it like that. And before, actually, well, we'll go and jump down to the bottom shelf. Very last shelf, which I normally reserve for my Blu-rays, but I am kind of demonstrating just these figures, the box stuff for this video. I have a boxed veil figure, boxed keys from CE, this Totaku chief figure, and then something I got very recently, which I've been wanting for years, which I was really excited about, is the Comic-Con exclusive Spartan Helios, Drill, uh, Spartan Helios Grill Mattel figure from like 2016, I think, or it was a while ago. It was like right when Mattel first got the license, back when they still cared. Um, I got this at a local comic book store pretty recently. I was just so happy to have it. So I'm really happy that I finally have this. I absolutely love the packaging on it. I think the black and gold looks uh, very cool. So that's mainly it for that stuff. Right here, I've got my Halo Wars 2 poster, or Halo Wars 1 poster, which I think is a great cover. Then we have some more box figures being Spartan Soldier from Halo uh, 4, Spartan, uh, Mark 6, Spartan Soldier from Halo 3, Spartan Centurion from Halo 5, this Comic-Con exclusive, uh, Active Camo, Spartan Soldier, CQB. This dude, I bought at a Comic-Con, but he was exclusive to Reach, or exclusive to Target. And this uh, CQB Spartan from Halo 3. And then something I am very happy to have that's also semi-new, not really, I don't have it in the last video, is all of Mattel Wave 2, all the core figures boxed, which is very cool. I have Arbiter, Jerome, Another veil. I probably I might give away this veil actually, maybe like a giveaway at some point. Um, because I've had that for a while and I just don't really need it. I bought that one after I bought the entire set or before I bought the entire set. So I know I need it, but I have Veil, Atriox, Buck, and Chief. So yeah, these figures I'm super happy to have them zoom out a bit. And I was just really excited that I was actually able to get 
the uh, second wave of Mattel core figures, which is pretty exciting. And then right here, we're gonna end it off with the Jack Pacific Chief, always a beautiful figure to have. And it's just uh, giant and very cool, and it doesn't get to stay over here because it's giant. So yeah, guys, that is stand up. That is about it. Like I said, if you want a video kind of detailing everything, pretty much every single one of these, um, kind of where I got it, like I said, I can do that. I also forgot this Mr. Chief from over there. I believe that was from a loot crate or something. Um, I can do that, but for the most part, that is mainly it. And I'll probably do another one of these in 2020 at the end of the year, kind of just to see where I've gotten. But yeah, let me just do one more shot up. All right, that was terrible, but we're gonna go with it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff, and like I said, I can do more videos in the future, and hopefully, by the time Halo Infinite comes out, the Wicked Cool Toys figures won't be terrible, and we'll have a bunch of awesome figures to add to the collection. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff, and what figures are you interested in getting for yourself. Thank you all for watching Majestic Gaming.